Hi, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to show you how to build this French cleat storage wall. Hey, for those of you who've been watching my videos, you know that a couple of weeks ago I tore apart my workbench and my shop. So I had to build this storage wall to put all my tools on. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how much it cost and how long it took. Hey, good morning everyone. So here's my shop. Like a lot of you, I work out of a single car garage that's part of a bigger garage. Uh, you've seen some of my previous projects, the electrical, the insulation, the doors over here. Well, the project today, I'm going to put a cleat wall on this side to store all my tools, which are there and down there. And over here, taking up this garage where my wife likes to park her car. So my first project today, to start with, is going to be to clear all this out over here so I can get in here. Uh, big shout out to Brad Rodriguez and April Wilkinson. Uh, watched their videos and came up with some great ideas and incorporate some of the stuff they have done on my wall. And let's get started. So a little bit of a challenge here with the way this box is put with these studs here and how the wall ends over here. I have 16 inch on center, but I don't have eight feet clear stud to stud. I have a couple of bays where I can get four foot in, but then I'd still have to cut. So I'm going to have to cut some of these panels so they land on studs as we work our way across. Let's get started on the top row.
So I'm going to rip this sheet down into eight strips, about six inches, actually five and seven eighths. So I get uh, full cleats out of it. Hopefully I did my math right. Let's get started. So that was fun. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hang the cleats now. I'm going to shoot them in with some brads and then come back and countersink and screw them into the studs. Let's get started. <laughs> So there you have it. Everything's up on the wall, tacked in. Still have to do the drilling and screwing to secure it for final. Uh, looks really good. Some of my cuts weren't the greatest in the world, but it is not bad. This is less than one sheet of plywood. I got six full rows on this side and six full rows right here. And if you look out there under the table, that's all the lumber that was left. I'll be able to cut that down for all the cleats for the tool hangers. So let's get started on the drilling and screwing.
So there you have it, a complete French cleat wall. Uh, took me about two days, so good weekend project for everybody. Uh, so how much did it cost? About a hundred bucks. Uh, each of the OSB sheets are about seven dollars each and the plywood is about thirty dollars. So not bad. Uh, now to get started with uh, creating all the tool hangers for all my tools. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Here's some videos right here if you're interested, and the subscribe button's right down there. Have a great day.